All right, we are in the KCPR studio with Martin Rourke, also known as Tomomitsu. Uh, thank you, Martin, so much for taking time to come and hang out with us. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, so I just have to ask this question. I've never asked it before. Um, why do you go by Tomomitsu? It's a good question. I've never heard that one before. Uh, Tomomitsu is actually my middle name. My mother is Japanese, born in Brazil, and her father's name was also Tomomitsu, so it's a family name passed down perfect so you didn't just come up with it i mean it comes from somewhere it's a real real name it doesn't have any meaning though i've tried to look it up but i can't seem to find any meaning to it well it's phonetically pleasing so you can't ask for much more than that sound it out perfect tomomitsu uh how would you describe your music um i'd have to say it's definitely um experimental folk music okay and when did you begin making experimental folk music um Probably about four to five years ago, I started trying to write songs as Tomimitsu. Um, I wrote the first song was In Dreams, and um, the rest have come slowly but surely since then. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about what was behind In Dreams? Because I understand that that was on a record that you released, but also came out as a single, at least on your band camp. Yeah. Um, I guess, uh, to be honest, I just gotten over a long relationship and I was feeling pretty down about it and I wanted to write a very simple song to express those feelings and um, I submitted that song to this compilation mixtape from this blog called Portals, their summer mixtape and they picked it up and then the uh, tape label associated with them, Chill Mega Chill Records, asked me to do a record. So then I made modes. That's fantastic. Um, were you making music before you started doing experimental folk in the last four to five years? Yeah, yeah. I've been making music since I was a kid. Um, started playing piano as a young child, and then I picked up cello in grade school. And then from there, guitar and bass and any instrument I can get a hold of, I try to play. So you certainly had a, a musical upbringing as a child. Definitely. Yeah, my father was a pianist, and so he definitely informed my musical taste with lots of uh, jazz music. Okay. Um, and so where did, where did you grow up? I grew up in the Bay Area, Mountain View, Los Altos. Yeah. Rep kinda represent? Represent, yeah, 650 area code, my homie Annie. Right. So, but on your band camp, it says that you're from Echo Park. Um, what brought you to that neighborhood? Um, I went to... College, university at uh, USC, University of Southern California, and I've uh, stuck around ever since then. Cool. I like LA. Great. Um, and then just about your musical process, um, I was curious, what, what is your preferred mode of procrastination when you're making music and then you decide, I'm going to do something instead of making music? Um, for me, when I'm writing songs, it's usually an exercise, so I set certain limitations and try to write with those limitations. So. For instance, in Dreams, um, I wrote down all the lyrics first before I had any music or melody, and then I did a basic drum beat on GarageBand, and everything came from there after that. Perfect. So with that in mind, um, do you usually make your music as sort of a solo bedroom thing? Uh, for Tommy Me Too, yeah, but I play in a lot of different projects down in LA, so it's, it's all over the place. Could you list off a couple other ones for the listeners? Yeah, yeah. Um, Probably a good band to check out is So Many Wizards. I play lead guitar in So Many Wizards. Um, I also have a project called Seaweed Salad that I played a couple of tracks from Tomomitsu style today. Great. And when you are Tomomitsu, um, is that usually something that you do completely independently or do you work to some degree with the other folks that you're in other bands with? I would say that the writing process is very independent. Um, it's usually after I get home from work or late at night, I'll be writing, but uh, performing, I try to get my friends in if possible, and then on this last record, Lo-Fi, I had a bunch of friends from uh, different bands come and join me. Cool. Uh, you mentioned work. Uh, what is your day job? My day job, I'm an administrative assistant and personal assistant to a skin cancer surgeon. Oh, punk rock. So punk rock, yeah. <laughs> um, all right, I'm going to shift gears a little bit and ask you a little bit more um, about the politics and religion, and I'm just going to start out with the question, how often are you barefoot? Barefoot? As soon as I get home, I take off my shoes and my socks. See, is that a, is that a lifestyle choice, or are you someone who comes home, and, and, and then when people visit, you're like, you need to take your shoes off, you're entering the carpet zone? People can wear whatever they want on their feet in my house. It's a uh, anything-goes kind of place. Relaxed policy. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Um, 
And then this is totally not a similar question to that, but when you were seven, what did you want to be when you grew up? When I was seven, definitely an astronaut or a fireman. Yeah. Okay. Fireman. Fireman? Fireman. Fire, fire person? Fire, yeah. All right. Good civic put, put duty out the jobs. fires, not make them. <laughs> exactly. Um, what's the last film that made you cry that should not have made you cry? <laughs> um... What's the one where the theme song is, everything is awesome? Lego. The Lego movie, yeah. I cried during uh, the scene where the, the kid comes out to his dad and he's like, dad, you don't have to be mean all the time. That was pretty powerful stuff. It's like a Schindler's List level of like emotional <laughs> turmoil right there. I haven't, I haven't seen Schindler's List yet, but that, that's next to cry to. Give yourself the whole day. Okay. <laughs> um, when you find a bug in your house, do you usually kill it or take it outside? Um, depends what kind of bug it is. If it has more than eight legs, I let it run away because they're special creatures. If it has eight legs exactly, I'll try and put it in a cup and take it outside. Six legs or less, they're smushed. <laughs> That's very specific. Clearly you've thought about this a lot. A lot, a lot, yeah. Right. Um, is your house haunted? That doesn't mean that you believe in ghosts, but... <laughs> I don't think my house is haunted. I haven't experienced any ghosts or non-ghosts haunting my place. <laughs> well, I hope that this question didn't prompt that. Uh, I hope that you don't go home and then suddenly there's a stalker outside or someone who watched this. Yeah, here, that's, the, that's the noise that they make. Now I'm nervous about it. I'm sorry. Um, when you book a flight, are you usually at the aisle or window? I prefer the window. Usually when I'm flying, I'm flying with my sister to go home to the Bay Area, so... I give her the choice. Okay. Yeah. You're generous. Um, the best birthday you ever had? Best birthday? Gosh. I'm not much of a birthday person, to be honest. I like to spend birthdays um, eating a nice meal and then watching a movie. So every birthday has been really awesome, except for my 16th birthday when I was in Florida and I was with my sister's basketball team for her tournament. Um, could you tell me more about that? Uh, I was with my sister's basketball team in Florida for a basketball tournament, so I wasn't celebrating my birthday as a 16-year-old trying to drive a car somewhere. <laughs> You're a good brother, though. Yeah, I guess so. Um, did you listen to any music on the way up to this uh, interview in, in studio? Uh, we did, yeah. Most of the time we spent listening to Silence, which was actually nice because I listened to so much music all the time. But the first record that we did put on was uh, Winter's newest record called Supreme Blue Dream. Yeah, they're another LA band, Echo Park Friends. Um, so they're really great. Check them out, Winter, Supreme, Supreme Blue Dream. Uh, what else are you into these days? Uh, let's see, I'm really excited about the new Chris Cohen record. He's really cool. Um, I have been listening a lot to this kind of compilation um, that DJ Kicks put out. This guy, DJ Cozy, assembled a good group of tracks. That's really cool very like all over the place cool we'll yeah. be sure to check it out check it out uh can you tell me a little bit more about the lo-fi album um, I, I saw that you released an ep on your band camp that's just called loaf will there be the same songs or could you elaborate a little bit yeah the loaf ep is um it's taken me like two and a half years to get this thing out so i was really anxious to release something it's kind of stripped down versions of the lo-fi album so there's four songs on the ep and there's uh 10 songs on the album with more instrumentation and it's kind of fleshed out and it sounds much nicer because it's been mastered professionally. Great, and it's coming out in May? Coming out in May. If you're down in Los Angeles, May 18th at The Smell, come and join me and my friends. We'll play for you. Perfect, is there any other touring uh, that's planned around that or just that show? Uh, not right now. Um, I'm kind of trying to figure out how to tour Europe. So if anyone knows about touring Europe or has friends or a place to stay in Europe, give me a holler. Perfect. Martin Work, thanks so much for coming in. Tomomitsu, check out the in studio. You're listening to KCPR, San Luis Obispo, 91.3 FM. <laughs>